Hello guys, um, I'm back with another video, and I got another Transformer. This is a first in many ways for me. I got the, um, Drives the Beasts, um, Studio Series, Reader Class, Optimus Primal. This guy is amazing, um... The first for me with this figure are this is my first leader class. This is my first Studio Series Optimus Primal toy. And my first figure with articulated fingers. Um so yeah, I'm happy. Um this is a Voyager scaled leader class, if that makes sense. Um yeah. The head looks amazing, all the sculpted in detail. The arms are look amazing with the mechanical and like animal fur detail in there is amazing. The fingers, the hands if I open them up. Oh it, they're sculpted amazingly. Um even a bunch of hydraulic details hidden all throughout this figure. Um, the back looks great. There's some spinal cord detail. The legs, this is where it kind of falls apart. Um, I don't really like that the robot mode feet are on the back of the legs, but like just if you look at the figure from the front, it looks amazing. Um, the beast mode legs are really just the bot mode legs folded up, but I don't really care. I love the asymmetrical battle damage design they have. Looks amazing. Got some hydraulic detail on the legs. Um, this guy's amazing. Um, articulation in beast mode. The head is on a ball joint, unlike... Where is he? Hold on. Unlike... The Voyager class, um, mainline primal. <laughs> it is on like three different joints. There's a mushroom peg down there. There's a swivel joint up on the top. And there's, don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's another swivel joint on the top of the head. Three different joints for one head. This one is on a ball joint. So that's a lot better. Can look up, reveal some more detail, and the back of his head is hollow. Um, yeah, there's a ball joint there. It can look. Oh, there we go. It can look up pretty far. It can look down a little bit, and it can rotate the full 360. Um, and tilt side to side. The mouth can open because he roars a lot in the movie no repulsor in the back but that's fine um the arms can go out and up that far they can go the full 360 and check this out intentional butterfly joints which is great for getting him in his iconic pose when he's first introduced in the movie I will show you how you get him in the pose, because a lot of people, they just put him in the pose um, beforehand, so, yeah. First of all, tilt the head all the way up, then you bring down the arms, rotate, wait, no, then you bring down, and use that butterfly joint, you use the shoulder joint, to kind of just, actually, the easier way is, put the arms out, and you just kind of pull down, and everything will come into shape. Um, then you rotate at the shoulder, and you rotate back at the bicep, so the shoulder is in front, because it'll do go before, and if it does it already, then you don't need to, and you just kind of got to adjust, bring the arms in a little bit, and push the shoulder pads down, about until you feel like they're about as far as they can go, so...
right about there. And then you just push the feet. This makes it easier. Push the feet all the way in and pull and then pull them out just a little bit. Just before, like just when they stop. If you pull them out lightly, just and you if you pull them out when you push it in and when you pull it out lightly, just before it stops, just as it stops. And then uh, you bring the legs all the way up as far as they, they will go. Then you just tilt the head down slightly, and then boom, he's in that iconic pose. Um, if I can get him to stand, hold on. Here's what, oh, here's what he looks like standing. Um, yeah. Then, get him back. It's just easy. Um, it's just a little quick tutorial to get him in that stance if you don't know how to. Um, yeah, transformation. Um, if you haven't it already, the fingers are open, even if they're like this. They're going to lock in, so what you do is you just push them down on both of the spots. They should look like that one. Hold on, there's a hair on my screen. <sighs> there we go. Um, and then, do that for both of the hands. And then what you do is, you lift up this outer flap here. And if you want to, you can, the elbow bend can go reverse. So make it look like this if you want but I don't like it like that so I just do this uh, you pull this outer flap out and then what you do is you pull it all the way out and then you push and then inside of the arm is the robot mode hand you push that in until this little panel here pops out like so bring the panel out then bring out the hands rotate this little flap here and then rotate the beast mode hand like so and you just push it all in this little flap here goes down and then this flap over here just covers over that like so and then you lift up the shoulder blade and you this piece here it's on a slider joint two hinge joints so what you do is you just kind of just push it and cover it over bottom of the forearm just like that oh there we go all right that's when i'm done you do the same on the other side so you flip this flap up all the way push that down open up this flap bring it out rotate there rotate beast mode hand put the beast mode hand in the forearm flip this flap down flip the outer flap down slider join down and boom now all no both no wow now the arms are done so what you will do with the legs is you will grab the legs one of the legs and pull down then what you want to do is you want to push the beast mode foot in it's a little challenging to do like this in and you keep pushing it in until this shin guard starts to um, come out. Then what you will do is you will grab the toe of the foot, bring it down. Then you will get that hill spur, that little thing right there. It's a little challenging to get out, but you will just have to flip the hill spur out. Like so. Um, and then what you do is you lift this thing up. And then you just push this. Or, wait, no, you bring the shin guard down, it's on two hinge joints in there. Then you will just kind of, oh, wait, this, hold on, wait. Come on, focus. I can't see what I'm doing. There's a circular spot right in this, nope, this flap here. Circular spot in there, it will go over the circle cir space in there. And you'll just bring the shin guard over and it'll click in. And you bring this part up, do the same on the other side. 
and I'm running a little low on time for not for my storage I'm I have to go eat soon so Okay, and then what you will do is you will tilt the beast mode head all the way up. You will grab his belly flap, pull it out, and you'll rotate it up like that. Then what you will do is you will grab his butt flap, lift it up and fold it on. Oh, you'll fold it all the way up like this, then you will rotate here, like so. And then you will just bring this flap here down and there's a tab and a slot there it will tap it in come on there we go and then this back plate will lift up you want to just you want to lift it up and then you want to stretch it out all the way and then you want to push it down and there is a tab in there slot in there you want to just push those together and then for the finishing touches if it hasn't already you'll just click this thing outward pull it down and it's another slider joint like all the authors primal toys i know um you'll slide it up and for this one you'll bring the bees mud head back up rotate this spot here like so this rotates then you will bring the beast mode head make it look up all the way again and you will push that solder joint back down you'll push this back up and bang optimus primal is fully maximized into his bot mode um the bot mode is amazing head sculpt it is not based on concept art there's one scene in the movie it's when they're getting the crappy out of him right before bumblebee comes in and um Freezer stabs Primal in the chest during the final battle and he opens his mouth. He has his face guard off, so this is accurate. Um, again, the um, asymmetrical battle damage design is amazing. Oh. Um, there's the Maximo logo. The arms look amazing. And the hands have their own different sculpt from the beast mode. The legs, there's, if I can get it to focus, come on, there's, what the heck, focus, there's hydraulic detail in there, and the feet look, the feet look great, um, yeah, great figure, the Articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. It will look up, it will look down, so you can get that classic scene where he says, the Fight you want is the fight you'll get. I don't know. And then you can, the head will rotate that far both ways. Arms can go, if you lift up the shoulder pad, they can go up and out that far. And uh, they do, he does it. In bot mode, he does have the butterfly joints, but they are backward, so you can use that for some poses. He has a bicep swivel. He has an elbow bend. Again, both ways, but the way I have it is the way you're supposed to have it. He has wrist swivel, and like leader class should, he has two different points of articulation for the fingers like articulation one set of articulation the other set of articulation um yeah um he has a waist swivel um helicopter helicopter i don't know <laughs> um he had his legs go up that far not too good if you move the legs a little bit they can go back that far but that's if you bring them out a little bit they can go out that far up ways um a knee bend 80 degrees 
and or 90 degrees <laughs> and if you unlock there's a transformation joint here and if you unlock that it can go way farther um which i thought was cool the feet can go back and go forward slightly you get an extra point of articulation if you use the transformation joint which is the toe movement it does help with most poses and you get a big a good de or, wow you get a decent um foot pivot um and it looks great it doesn't look like it's been just slashed in half for some of the toys i have it doesn't look like it's he's just been slashed in half looks like it's his actual foot so yeah um accessories he comes with two swords um like he should um and if you put them together he now has a double bladed sword and to put the double bladed sword in his hand you put one sword in his hand like so and you just attach the other blade and you just bring it up this way his hand is covering that little seam and he has that double bladed sword next accessory he has is optimus prime's battle axe and if i get out my ko of the my knockout <laughs> ko i was like i always think like ko for off brand stuff is like knockout uh, I, just, I just think of it um goes in his hand it is a little tight for the ko i have so yeah um it fits better in primal's hand i'll show you weapon storage after i'm done showing the accessories and he has two chain accessory thingies they are really articulated they have they do they do they do they do for all of them um if you want to you can get the swords and you can make it so he has two like chain whip thingies or how is how it's accurate how it is in the movie you can combine them and make it so he has on um, that two cool double bladed chain sword th I don't know what it's called um yeah to put the chain in his because in the instructions um you can straighten out the chains put it in his hands you don't just slide it in there you open up his fingers um put the chain in there and just bring the fingers down and he's holding it um if you want to do that with the sword in there you can but with the um with it combined into this that big double bladed chain sword thingy you want to just get the swords put one in his hand i like to put it in upside down because it just allows for a better range of movement with him then you want to put the other blade in like so and you want to get the two chain attachments combine them like so then what you will do is you will attach one and the end of the one blade and the other end to the end of the other blade and then bam oh and they do come apart very very easily so um watch out for that god dang it go on and then bam he has the double bladed chain sword thingy again i don't know what it's called um yeah um this is a really really good figure um Oh, weapon storage. <laughs> Forgot about that. Um, there are there I, I there's a mode there's a way of weapon storage I like. So there's the axe. I like to put that on his left hip. There's a slot in there and a. Come on, focus. It's a peg right there. You just do that, and bam, the swords. Like most Optimus Prime figures, they will just go in right here. You can, you can do it in Beast Mode too, um, like that. And then the chain will just kind of like go in on here, and then 
I don't really like that way, but if you take off the swords in the chain and you put on sword and you put the swords on the chain and then if you do it if you articulate the chain a certain way. So you got it, hold it in the middle, bring this one down, make it so it looks like this, and then you can just flap it out a little bit. Same on the other side. And when you're done, it should be looking like something like this. Then you can put the chain on primal. And then he has like a cape thingy. I don't know, it's just really cool. Um, yeah, this is a really good figure. Um, and he does come with a transwarp key accessory that splits in half. You can like, split in half like it does in the movie. I lost that accessory. So, um, yeah, and you want to look uh, at the box, here it is, great shot of Optimus Primal, Steve is used on a 6 Optimus Primal, Transformers, whatnot, side, um, 106, Studio Series on a 6, great shot of Primal as Beast Mode, here it says Leader Class, the other side, just a great shot of Primal as Bot Mode, and back, um, 34 steps. He does come with a transrip key right there. Um, there it is. Great product shots on the beast mode. Um, it don't look like it's posed correctly. And the shoulder blades are up. What is up with Hasbro and their, um, toy production? Or toy, the back pictures like this, especially. Um, big screen inspired scale detail backdrop. It does come with a backdrop. It's just the jungle where you first see him whoa peruvian jungle discovery optimus primal and the maximal guard a piece of the transorb key from unwelcome visitors um yeah that's gonna have to end the video there oh there's light um that's gonna have to end the video there um yeah really great figure um so see ya